Come on, fellas. Roast here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Have you ever wondered if you could finish a task in under five minutes? Me personally, I've tried numerous times to finish the happy birthday tape in under five minutes so I can get this goddamn happy birthday there, trophy. Every now and then, I cut my body to move it. It's got your fire. But today, we are talking about 5 Minute Crafts. Yes, I know, another crafts channel. They're fucking easy to pick apart. So, we're doing 5 Minute Crafts. Take it or leave it! Fuck, 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 fuck! Jesus, fuck! Hey! Hey! No, no, no! No royalty free cancer, no! Bad. I'm gonna replace it. And you know that my taste in music is fly as fuck. <laughs> okay, so it's egg hacks or egg recipes or whatever the fuck it is. See those hacks? <laughs> for like a year that that does not look fresh cooked <laughs> Taco, they got a new thing called free shav free free shavaka do free shavaka. And uh, I I guess that's basically the video. It's just various egg recipes, not hacks, recipes. It's not like it's even teaching people to make them because there is nothing to tell people the correct measurements. If if you want to see proper cooking videos and here are some channels run by people. Who have souls? But me! Don't you usually cover the whole video with them? Give your thoughts on it! And in that case, you are 100% right. But as I said, the video is just egg recipes and then nothing else. But me! If there's no content, then why would you choose it? Well, that's because we are talking about 5 Minute Crafts, the channel, and there are other channels. Okay, so I have some writing this. I uploaded two videos today. One of them's an hour long. I'm, I'm not. I'm not fucking joking. The first channel is, of course, Five Minute Crafts, with over 58 million subscribers. And then you've got Five Minute Crafts Recycle Kids. Decor, family, girly, teens, recipes, men, tech, and magic. 
damn, they're even subscribed to their own sub channel. That's fucking sad. But even Five Minute Crafts main channel itself is a sub channel of a channel called Brightside. A channel that has only over 28 million subscribers. They even have their own website is just filled to the brim with clickbaity BuzzFeed-esque articles. And of course, they have their own sub-channel. Other than 5 Minute Crafts. I think if you add all the subscribers from all of the channels owned by Brightside, you get well over PewDiePie subscribers. <laughs> And like with their related channels, such as 5 Minute Crafts, and even their unrelated channels, like Toom Troom Troom, they upload multiple times a day, and of course, they clickbait. How internet advertising works and tricks you. More words coming from the right side. So, let's see some of the amazing content from Bright Side. So I've got this video. The only way to survive a sinking ship. You know, this, this is gonna be 100% true. Fuck you too. All right, let me start with a confession. I'm a scaredy cat. Yep. Whenever I travel by water, I tend to imagine various catastrophic scenarios until I get so edgy that my neighbors begin to worry about me. Now, on the other hand. I realize that the odds of being trapped on a sinking ship nowadays are quite low. And there are things you can do to survive if the near impossible does happen. Wait a minute! The title says the only as in one way to survive a sinking ship. But you said some ways? Hmm. So let's say you're setting off on a long-awaited cruise, you're on cloud nine, and nothing could be further from your mind than paying attention to the safety precautions. But however willing you may be to waste precious vacation time on listening to safety instructions, you should remember that chances are it could save your life. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of what safety precautions are supposed to do. It's just like, it's like your guidelines to keep you safe on a ship. Nah! What are, what are you, a virgin? Yeah. Try to remember where the lifeboat closest to your cabin is, and figure out how to get there if it's dark or the weather is stormy. Also, read the instructions for how to put on and use your flotation device. In short, get as much information on how to save your life in case of an emergency as possible. I have the feeling that these are just basic tips you'd find in a manual on a cruise like seriously. You could get the same information from anywhere else. This video is 10 minutes long in order to get all those ads. In other words, Brightside took a, a simple booklet guide on surviving an emergency caution and stretched it to 10 minutes in order to get ads. That's why it's crucial to take part in the first day safety drill. During this drill, you need to check if your personal flotation device is in your cabin. If not, immediately inform the crew. If a tragedy strikes, its absence may cost you your life. It's swimming an alien concept to you. Imagine that your journey is pleasant and uneventful until one day, bam, something goes terribly wrong and your ship starts sinking. Oh no! Hopefully, it'll never happen to you. But just in case, it's vitally important to know how to react. First, you'll hear the evacuation signal. Uh, this is the captain. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, just wanted to let you know the ship is sinking and uh, you're all on your own. Bye! No, that's not it. It's but what is the point of this video? What is the point of this video if there are much better sources for this that are not reaching for money? And that's literally the point of this video. It is a stretched out guide to get ads to make money. And that's all I can really say for today. I tell you, I tell you what. 
if you like this video, I will send you a pet catfish. And I mean like a big catfish, like a root to the wells. This is the Soft Mink signing out. What the fucking shit are you down the mark for? Playing your fucking mouth, mate, to my bro, man. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking bro, come down, Smevic, ask for Danny G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking legs, you little prick.